Hi, today I'm going to build a much, much larger wood stove. Um, these single wood stoves I make are perfect for a single person, but what if you have a family? What if you need an emergency stove to cook with and you have four or five people? You need something that can hold much, much more wood, a lot more wood. Now, I'm going to be making a wood stove out of one of these. This had popcorn in it. You can see it has the whole Christmas thing going on. Now you can see it is much, much bigger. And I just ended up washing this out. Now I am leaving the bottom. Now for this wood stove, I'm going to make this a little bit different. The lid is a little bit thicker than the other um, lids I've been using on the um, cookie tins. It's a little bit thicker. Now I am probably going to use uh, some nuts on top of this and a hole. Now I will not put a feed hole in here for a reason. You can put a feed hole. Now, to put a feed hole in this, now I'm not going to do that, remember, and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, this is going to hold quite a bit of wood. Now, if you put a feed hole in here, you can. I'm not saying don't. I'm not going to because what's going to happen is that you will have to have a very, very large feed hole for something this size if you're going to use large pieces of wood. And the flames will come out of that feed hole. This is going to have quite a bit of wood in it. And so the flames are going to get really tall. Now, I will not go all the way around with my air holes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark off about a quarter of the can. And I'm going to put my air holes on the bottom. Now, I'm not going all the way down. For the air holes, you need to be about an inch up on this. And then here I'm going to put some more air holes. Now I'm only going to do that on a certain section of this. Because this is so big. And I will have so much wood in here. That it's going to create a really big flame. And if you have air holes all the way around. That flame's going to come out. If you're using this to cook for a family. Then you're going to be sitting pretty close to it. And you want to be safe first. Okay, I will have a smaller hole in the center, not a large hole, a smaller hole in the center with some um, nuts screwed down to the lid for the pot to rest on. Now this does have a large lip on it here, but if I raise it up high enough, it should not have an issue with my coffee pot. Once I get this made, I'm going to go ahead and burn test it using larger pieces of wood. Now I believe this is a probably a foot tall. So you can fit much larger pieces of wood and that will stay burning much much longer. And that will give you a lot more flame. And a whole lot more heat. Now remember all this stuff has paint on it. The paint will probably end up burning off. I mean, here's my hand. That's how big this is. Now, all the wood stoves, like I said, I made for homeless people. I've already given all those away. I am running low on materials. And I already knew I wanted to make a large wood stove for... Ow, that hurts. Right there. Um, for a family unit or a homeless encampment where people can cook and you know for more than one person like I said I've already given away all my wood stoves to homeless people every one I've made so far has been given away this will be my last wood stove but I wanted you to see you can actually make a large wood stove that will hold much more wood cutting through this would be pretty easy you leave the lid on 
use your sharp knife use your hammer and cut through it now what I would do if you're going to make a feed hole what I would do is I would make this differently I would cut out here 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 and then I would skip a tab make a notch here skip a tab and make a notch here and skip a tab on this side that way instead of bending anything inward I can lift up on it and bend it like outward and that way you can still use it a feed hole but any fire that comes out hopefully will be caught by that top piece that you bent up I mean you want to try to be as safe as you can like I said this will probably hold one foot long logs sticks um, chunks of wood now unfortunately the wood I have is 16 inches long so it's too tall I will have to cut it down it is the Walmart junk it is the worst wood in the world to use for testing this it is just crap but I am going to try to actually make coffee on this today instead of just using water I'm going to try to make coffee and we'll see how well that goes once I get everything built like I said this will be my last build on the wood stoves but if you have a family and you live in like an apartment or something like that and you know you, you can find tins like this all over the place but having a tin this large put back for an emergency to build some type of stove now before you have an emergency I would build the stove because I do want to drill holes in it I don't want to have big slashes out of the bottom that's normally how you make your feed hole is with giant slashes um, pieces cut out but I want to drill holes one it looks neater two the holes are much smaller so there's less likely flame to come out the holes three if the wind blows then having a huge hole cut out can actually cause an issue but like I said once I get this done I will cut some wood down I do have two pieces of that Walmart wood left and I absolutely hate that stuff because it's a pain to light and it just does not burn cleanly Like I said, if you can find something like this, which is a really large can, then you can actually build a wood stove that you can literally cook for probably three, four people pretty easily because that's how much wood this is going to hold. It's going to hold quite a bit. And this is going to burn for quite a while. Um, once I get this built. Alright. Once I get the stove built, I will come back. Um, and I will show you the testing on it. And like I say, I'm going to use my drill. I'm going to make holes instead of cut out like I did. Uh, watch the second um, cookie tin stove. To see how I did that with the slashes you know the notches cut out but with something this large I want the holes to be smaller and yes I could cut out a huge chunk of this for a fill hole if that's what you want to do fine just make sure if you have that like that you have that fill hole facing away from you so the flames don't come out and burn you all right, I will be back when I get this done and get ready to test it. Bye. Okay, here's our popcorn tip one stove. It is made out of a popcorn tin. Now, I did cut the wood down to six inches. As you can see, it still has some room in there. But I wanted to have enough room so it could get flame up and breathe. I only have a couple pieces of wood in here. Let me get that. Uh, see that? 
I have a piece of 2x4 in there, some little sticks. Now getting this to light is going to be a royal pain in the butt. Um, because it is so big. So I'm going to try to light the 2x4 first. Now, I did use some nuts here. The nuts I had laying over here. If I had more nuts, I would actually double these and make them twice as high as this. But, you use what you have. Uh, let me see if I can get the lid off without having to set this down somewhere. Because I don't want to. Making some coffee here. Now, I made this. Now, this is real hard to uh, actually set perfect to get this to work. This thing's a pain in the butt. Um, now, I have a coffee cup here. I did make this for larger cooking. Now, you can see right here, I have plenty of holes. The can is dented a little bit. I really don't care about that. Let's see if I can even get this to light. Now I'm trying to light this 2x4 first and then try to get this other wood to light because this other wood just really, really sucks. Um, well, that little piece is lit. There we go. Now you see I only have air holes on the one side. Now the reason for that is if you're having to cook on something this large, you don't want flames going all the way around. But if you need more air holes, you can put more air holes in. Just make sure it's facing away from you. I did not put a feed hole in this. Now, the reason being is with as much wood as in here, once this wood catches, it's going to go for quite a while. And you can always take the lid off or just throw some more sticks through the top. Uh, I wanted to keep this as safe as possible. That's why I have these small air holes. Now let's see if this Walmart wood will actually ignite because this stuff absolutely sucks. Yeah, if you have to buy wood, trust me, do not buy this Walmart junk. It is absolutely disgusting. It is the worst wood I've ever seen. I don't know if you can hear it popping. Now, I do feel some heat. But I want to try to get all this wood to ignite before I throw the coffee pot on. Now, being this low, it's going to produce a lot of soot because this does have a lip. And once again, my coffee pot has a lip going down. If you're using a flat pan, it'll work much better. Now you hear that wood popping? Like I said, you can actually fit, and you can see more coals coming out the top. Um, I don't know if you can see that. This wood is absolutely bad. you can see it just has a little bit of air gap there uh, like I said if I had more um, nuts like this I will put them too high to raise it up more and you can see I do not have any stoves left over here 
I've already given all my wood stoves away to uh, homeless people for them to use to be more safe when they're having to cook. Oh, I could have thrown that in there. A uh, little piece of 2 by 4 But, um, because this will hold so much more wood, you can actually cook a lot longer using something like this than one of these small um, cookie tin wood stoves. Like I said, I made this for families. People that may be homeless or in an emergency situation. Now, if you're going to build one of these for an emergency, I recommend you build it before the emergency. Um, if I had to, right there where the holes were, I could take out a section of that for air to go in. I would not take out any more than that. You want that flame coming out one side only if it comes out. Because, like I said, if you're going to be cooking on this, you need to be safe. You don't want those flames coming out possibly hitting your pants leg or, or something like that. You need to be safe. And you can see the paint's burning off there. See, this Walmart wood does not like to catch. Give that some more air. I want this wood to catch as much as possible. But you can hear it just popping everywhere. The higher your pan, the better it's going to work. That's why I said if you can find... Um, a couple of these and raise it up higher it will work much much better but unfortunately I only had five and I used four on the lid and you can see sweat going down there and absolutely avoid a Walmart wood. But you can practice, uh, excuse me, pack it pretty full. You don't have to have a lot of wood in here if you don't want to, but you can pack it pretty full. As long as it gets air circulating to keep the fire going, you're good. And trust me, don't use Walmart wood. I don't know if you can hear that popping. That is the Walmart wood. That stuff is absolutely worthless. Um, but I did cut this down to six inches. So it'll hold about six and a quarter standing up. Okay, it will not hold 10 inch wood. It is about six to six and a quarter. I cut these down to six and they fit perfectly with enough room over the top for air to get around it and over it. Now this is pretty full because I am trying to make coffee out here and like I said unfortunately with this percolator unless this thing's sitting perfect it does not like to work. So we will see if I can actually get some coffee made up. Then again, with this Walmart wood, it may go out. You never can tell. Oh, it looks like they're maybe making coffee. Maybe. Okay, that's getting hot. <laughs> nope, that's just water, so... Like I said, if this was higher, it'd be much better. But because this holds a, a lot better amount of wood, you can use it a lot longer. You see the smoke. If this was higher or there wasn't a lip um, on my coffee pot, it would actually work a lot, lot better.
Now some of this smoke could be from the paint burning off. That's a good possibility. Now I really don't want to make this a 20 minute video to uh, make coffee, but you know, we'll see. Like I say, the wood itself is not very good. Let's get over here. Let's see if that is still lit because that Walmart wood is just, it's just really bad. It does not like the light. It does not like to stay lit. Yeah, yep, I figured. Once again, it's the wood. This Walmart wood does not like the light. It does not like to stay lit. That's an issue with this wood. So the flame is out, unfortunately. Um, there we go. Let it let it red back up. See, a lot of the small pieces, like the 2x4, are absolutely burning. But the Walmart stuff is not burning. <sighs> I don't think I can fit that in there right now. Nope. And unfortunately, I threw all my small pieces of wood in there to try to get that Walmart wood to burn. Like I said, that Walmart wood sucks. You can hear it. You can. I don't know if you can see it popping or hear it popping. Um, Let's see if that'll get lit that way. The Walmart wood stinks. That is some of the worst burning wood I've ever seen in my life. Now, I don't know if you can hear the popping in there. Once again, if this was higher, it would work better. Unfortunately, I cannot make it higher unless I buy more nuts and uh, more nuts. Which I may end up doing. I may look and see if I can find any more. Like I said, this Walmart was absolutely uh, just wordless. In an emergency situation, maybe um, if you can actually get it to light. Now I hear this. That has to be centered just right for this to work. I mean, you, I don't know if you can hear it from here. It is bad. I mean, this is definitely putting out heat that's starting to get really really hot like I said if I had a flat pan or something that did not have lips going down around the bottom of the pan it would work much better um, Now, I apologize, we're already over 15 minutes, but you can hear that wood just popping. This 
handle is going to be really, yeah, that thing's super hot, and I did not bring a pot holder out. Oh, I guarantee that water in there is definitely hot. Now, like I said, this this metal uh, percolator, it is not built very well. It, it has to set just right in the middle for it to force the water through to actually make coffee. So I'm going to see if this will do it. I mean, it should. Um... I mean, the water is boiling um, down in there. That's hot. Well, it looks like my neighbor's back. So I will cut this off and come back. Okay, I'm back. I ran and got a pot holder. Now, if you have a pot like this, leaning it over a little bit and just setting it on one two, making it get higher on one end, will definitely make it make coffee. I have way too much uh, water in here for this. Um, like I said, the problem with this kind of uh, uh, coffee pot or percolator is it has a lip going down. Now, it's not taking super long to make. It is definitely boiling. I mean, that is boiling beyond boiling there's coffee getting everywhere Now, I had way too much water in here for making coffee, so there's a few grounds in here. Um, like I said, this is not the best percolator to use. Uh, I want that to cool down. <sighs> and see, you, you see the grounds. This percolator absolutely stinks, but it does work. Now, that is going to be very, very, very hot. Now you can see the wood is still going. Like I said, if you make one of these out of a tin like this, and you want to make it to where your pot can be up, just buying a few nuts and bolts, well, basically, you can use nuts and bolts. I just have screws in here. But raise it at least too high. Now, those are lug nuts, short lug nuts, I believe, off my girlfriend's old car. But you need to raise it up, try to raise it up at least an inch if possible. Because this does have a lip that raises up, and a pot like this has a lip that goes down. But you can see it is still burning. Now, if I was trying to cook on this... Because of the amount of wood I have in here, it would last a good long time. I could literally make macaroni and cheese. I could probably cook a steak if I had a pan that would fit on here. Um, like I said, for emergencies, something like this is perfect if you're trying to feed uh, three or four people. Because you don't have to constantly feed your wood. And remember, try to make this at least too high, which is two of these. I'd say at least an inch to an inch and a quarter um, for your pot to set on. That way, your fire will burn easier. It won't try to choke out. 
And you can see there is black all over part of this can from where now there's a plane. You hear the wood popping even now? This is the Walmart wood. Whatever you do, do not buy Walmart wood. Now the thing is, as large as these pieces were, I probably could have fit three in here without an issue. Um, three uh, pieces of wood, and this would burn for a good long time. And you can see there's black all over this side where the air holes are. And where a lot of the heat is on the inside where this large piece of wood was. And then it gets to, well, Christmas again. But that is definitely hot. Uh, that is steaming. Now, I should have brought... Let's just set that back on there. And, yeah. Now you can see the grounds in this. Like I said, this is not the best percolator in the world. Um, if you're going to use a percolator like this, have some type of small screen filter. We have a small, um, oh, what is that? Just a little screen thing uh, on a handle, uh, like a sifter or something like that, to try to get the grounds out of your coffee when you pour it in your cup. Because this is going to have grounds in it. I mean, look at that thing go. I had to get that centerpiece positioned correctly because this thing absolutely stinks. If that is off just a hair, it will not brew coffee. I mean, it has to be just perfect for this to work. And that includes on a propane or butane stove. So... Like I said, if you want something to cook on, and you need to cook for more than one person, and you want something that's going to last longer, build one of these. Now, you can cut your wood to six inches. Now, it will fit longer uh, crossways. But the thing is, even if you're cooking, if you need a little bit more wood, you just lift up your pot and throw some wood in through the top and that wood will ignite and get your fire roaring again so oh yeah that that is so hot okay well this is the last wood stove I'm gonna build um, I did build this for homeless people um, what I will do before I give it to anyone is I will find some more nuts. I think I have some laying around somewhere. And make it to where the pot is raised up a little more. That way it won't die. Or that way if they're using a larger pot, the flames can come out more. And it can breathe easier. But other than that, it's working. I mean, once I got that centerpiece to set right, it started making coffee without an issue. It just takes forever with one of these to get it centered to where it works, unfortunately. But I hope you can hear the wood popping. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to merge probably three sessions of video. Um, it, I mean, you can see steam coming out of there. That is so hot. Says uh, my neighbor drove in. I don't want to get him in the video. All right, Minna is looking in the house. So, Butthead is probably in the house eating. He was just out here a little while ago. And I am going to have to go inside, get some water and come out here and put this out because I don't want to just let it burn
and you, I mean, this is boiling, seriously boiling. Um, I'll have to leave this out here and cool it down. And the fire's still going. And you can see the flame is really high now. Um, if you raise these up higher, that's the key. You have to raise them up higher at least one to one and a quarter inches for your pot to set flush or, or better because this has a lip and it will choke some of the airflow. But I will look for some more nuts. I think I have some somewhere. Once this goes out, I will rebuild this. Well, I won't rebuild it. I'll just raise these up. I mean, look at that. It is still going. I can still cook on this. Now, this has been going for... The first video is when I showed the can. The second one is when I lit it. And I shut it off when my neighbor pulled in. So that was 15 minutes or so with the fire going. This video has been going, well, 10 minutes. And the fire's still going strong. So that's, what, 25 minutes is still going? Compared to a small cook stove for a single person? I mean, I could cook a steak in 25 minutes on here easily. Um, I can make some mashed potatoes, I could cook vegetables, um, for 25 minutes, I mean, the water boils much, much, much quicker than in here. I mean, it did boil, but it was not making the coffee because the center part, <coughs> this has to be stationed perfect. Now, it, to get this to work, it has to be more like on one side and not in the middle. And it's really hard to get this thing to space correctly. But the water was definitely boiling. It just wasn't going through and making coffee. Because that wasn't spaced correctly. Now we're already at 11 minutes on this part of the video. So that's, what, 26 minutes and it's still burning? That is off of one piece of wood, a little piece of 2 by 4 and the little pieces of wood I had in there were off of this one. So it's basically one piece of wood, a little chunk of 2 by 4 and it's still going, it's still producing heat. Alright, I am fixing to go. Um, that coffee is like steaming. I don't know if you can see that. But something like this, if you have more than one person in your family and you want to build an emergency stove, remember, there's a couple things you need to understand. One, you have to have enough room for wood. Um, these are six inches. These were cut six inches. They're real close to the, the top, but there's still some room in there. Six inches for one of these. I thought it'd be taller, but it's not. Forgive me on that. Enough air holes. And because the air holes are only on one side, I don't have to worry about the flame coming out if I'm on the other side cooking and catching my pants on fire or something like that or, you know, my jacket or coat or whatever. The most important thing you have to do, though, if possible, is raise this at least an inch to an inch and a quarter. At least. I mean, these are probably a half inch. And if I would have had something taller or, or eight of these instead of five, I would have used four um, on the bottom, four on the top. For the legs, I would have made it taller. That would have made this function a lot better. Now, in an emergency situation, could I cook with something like this? Yes. Would it take longer? Yes. Because the flames aren't getting enough oxygen to come out fully. 
And like I said, this is for a family or more people than just one. Or if you're going to cook more than one thing and you have a limited supply of wood, you know, chopping down wood in small pieces burns much, much quicker than large pieces. And this Walmart wood absolutely stinks. If you can avoid Walmart wood, do it. It is absolutely just bad wood. Alright, that's it. Like I said, I will look for some more nuts. I think I have some somewhere where I can raise this up at least two of these high. That way when I set my pot down... It won't be trying to choke it out as much. Because remember this has a lip going up on the outside. Something like this has a lip going down on the outside. That means you are not getting full flame and full air. Because the flame's hitting up, going over, going down. And there's a lip here. But I mean it's still going. And I believe we're almost at 30 minutes of burn time. Um, even at 25 minutes, it's still going. This will definitely burn for at least another, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Like I said, in an emergency, yeah, that's still steaming. In an emergency situation where you have to cook for you your family, you know, more than one person. Not just heating water, but I mean actually cooking. Something like this that you can make, have it ready for an emergency. You don't have to go out and buy uh, big wood camp stoves like I have. Well, the portable stoves. Those are backpack stoves. You don't have to buy them. Uh, the reason I like this one better along with my cookie tin wood stoves, they have a larger area to set. They're more balanced. They're more stable. The small wood stoves I have are really small in the bottom, so they're top heavy. Now, I can set a large pot on this, and because the circumference of the entire can, it would be fine. I mean, that was still going. Unfortunately, I probably am going to have to bring some water out here and put this out because I just don't want to leave it burning out here. And I don't want to sit out here for an hour uh, waiting for this stuff to burn out. But remember, if you're using one of these and it's not making the coffee, right, you have to understand this center has to be in a specific spot for it to work correctly, especially one of these. And you can see it's closer to this edge than it is to this edge. If this And I had this dead center, and it was not working. So, you know, like I said, I've had trouble using this on our propane stoves, butane stoves, because this has to be in a specific spot. And the one good thing about this, once it cools down and you don't want to use it anymore and all your stuff is out, you can just pull the lid off and dump out the coals. Alright, I am fixing to go. I apologize, this one's a really long one. But for a family or more than one person, um, a stove like this that you can make for cooking for more than one person that does not use a great deal of wood is probably the best way for you to go. Because remember, smaller pieces of wood burn much, much quicker than larger pieces of wood. Alright, that's it. I am fixing to go. 
I'm going to get some water out here and put this out and like I said I mean this, this will probably still burn for another 20-30 minutes um, it, so we're looking at at least a half hour burn time um, and if my legs were higher it would work better that that is the one issue I've been finding on any of my stoves that I put legs on the legs really need to be higher so that flame can come up and go out and around unfortunately I use what I have and I wanted you to see this one this is for family cooking this is for you know making like pasta spaghetti you know in a big pot that's what this one's for I'm making coffee now you can make coffee off the other ones any of the other ones um, it, it just determines how you have your coffee pot or your coffee maker and you can see it's still going I, I don't want to get my phone too close to that all right I am fixing to go once again um, I really apologize for the length of the videos and if you build any of these types of stoves try to make where your pot sets higher if you build a can stove um, like the one with the V cut out try to make at least three and space them um, kind of like a Y and make three V cuts on that one instead of two it will work better and you will still have something to set your pot or pan on yep it's still going so we're looking at a half hour or so at least with just one piece of wood from Walmart remember this wood absolutely sucks uh, different wood burns differently I don't know if this is pine or what but it absolutely stinks I don't know if you could hear it popping so like I said I could, I could definitely cook on this I can make an entire pan of spaghetti and spaghetti sauce and, and meat I could cook meat on this and it's large enough to hold your pots and pans now if you're wanting to set something on top of this you can get some type of um, I keep thinking a mesh or something like that excuse me I whistle there uh, mesh or something something that can go across with small holes in it that you can set stuff on if you don't have access to that and you want to cook something that's small uh, in something that's small now you can see that flames flaming up again you can take some type of metal clothes hanger um, you could possibly use some copper wiring possibly but it needs to be pretty sturdy unscrew these a little bit and just put them going across off the top to the top and then screw it down and make like a cross thing with wire or something else if you have any type of stove uh, propane or butane thing you can set on um, off a propane or butane stove that would sit on here you can set a smaller pot or something on it now look at that the back of the wood starting to catch so I mean this thing will probably burn on that one piece of wood probably for an hour um, it has been going a very long time now now since this back of the wood is catching now the this can on this side should start getting black because it's from the heat well, it'll end up looking like that now remember this is going to be really disgusting when you touch it this soot is going to be everywhere um, but you do what you have to do
and this situation, like I said, this will be my last stove build. If you can't build a simple stove out of some of the things I've shown you, look around, see what you have. All you need is a metal ring, even if you have to take a flat piece of metal, make it in a circle, put some nuts and bolts through it to hold it together to make a circle, and then figure out some way to raise your pot up. You don't have to have a, a floor or a bottom, but it does help. And just some right way to get your pot to set on it. And that's all you need. Look at that. Now, I really apologize. Um, I did not want to make this a super long video, but I mean, as soon as the back of this wood started catching, I mean, it flared up again. Um, the back of this piece is probably the same way over there on that side. Since I had one piece, it was like a V, uh, a triangle shape. I just cut it in six inch lengths. I set one here and one there, and then some little stuff there that I broke off the front of it. And I had that two by four in there to help start it. So if I move that piece forward, the one over there, on the back there, that has probably not burned yet. I mean, look at this. This has been going probably for 40 minutes. Um, I do have to apologize. This, this video is going to be long. I don't know if you can still see the steam coming off that or not, but, you know, once again, yeah, you see all that burning? So out of one piece of wood, I will probably get close to an hour cook time. Um, and. Make sure you do not mess with this or touch it until it is cooled down. Even if you have to put water in it, that's fine. But if you do, this is going to steam like crazy. Because this entire can is super, super hot. Alright, I'm fixing to go because this is going to be a really long video. And once in, you hear the popping, that's the wood. Um, once I put all this together... This is going to be a really long video, but if you need something for a family, or if you're a single person that just wants to have something you can like make coffee on and cook, then something like this is a good um, choice, because it uses much larger pieces of wood, which means less splitting, less cutting of the wood. Hear that? I want to get that to die down a little bit, so. Oh, geez. Well, it's definitely trying. And see, that's almost all the way to the corner, uh, the side over there. Wow. That's going to be some dark coffee by the time that's done. Alright. Um, I'm going to shut this off. If you made it this far to the end, I really appreciate it. Um, if you want any more wood stove builds out of simple stuff or stuff you may have laying around the home, let me know. I'll see what I can come up with. But this is definitely for a family of two maybe three people um, maybe more because like I said this thing's been going for uh, 40 45 minutes something like that once I get all the videos merged together so I mean if you can't cook a large pot of spaghetti or some mac a couple boxes of macaroni and cheese on this um, I don't know 
Uh, you can cook a steak or some meat on here. Whatever you need to cook. Like I said, this is for a family. But if you, even if you're a single person, making something like this. Now remember, once again, if this was higher, it would be going much, much better. But there's only a little air flow there. So if you build one like this and you use nuts and bolts or anything that will raise it up, make sure you go up at least an inch and an inch and a quarter, between an inch and an inch and a quarter. So if you set a pot or a pan on there that has a lip going down, you know, it won't try to suffocate it or choke it out. Oh, that is like steam. And that's not going to take long to reheat that because this is still steaming. All right, I'm fixing to go. I have to run in and get some water and put this out. Um, like I said, if you're wanting more wood stove builds, let me know. I'll see what I can come up with. But these are pretty easy to make. You can find tins like this pretty much anywhere, um, especially around Christmas. Damn it, that's already... Well, that didn't take long at all, because I understand this was already hot, but geez. Now, you see why I said raise it up? Because the fire did die down some. And if you have these higher, then it won't die down like this. All right, I'm fixing to go. Everyone have a good day. I will do my best to merge all this together. And I will fix this. I will see what I have to raise this up some. I think I have some more um, nuts somewhere. If I don't, I will figure something out. I want to raise that up some. Um, I can put some washers underneath it. Uh, so another set of nuts. Whatever I need to do to raise that up. Even if it's another half inch, that would make a huge difference. Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> I mean, geez. So, all right, that's it. I'm fixing to go. Everyone have a really good day. If you made it this long, I do appreciate it. If you want better instructions on this, let me know. I'll do my best. If you want instructions on any of the other stoves I built, let me know. I'll do my best to explain it because I no longer have these stoves. I gave all my stoves away to some homeless people. I gave three to the guy that was under there, under the um, the bridge over there. The city took a shit. He hauled butt. He said he was going to give some stoves to some, some other people. Then there were two more over here that were going to stay. They found out that what the city did, and they decided not to stay. They took the two um, cookie tin stoves. They said they would give one away and keep one. So, I mean, look at the fire roaring up again. So, I'm looking at least an hour uh, cooking off of one piece of wood. Each one, now that's, it's, I, there, it was a, a one foot piece of wood, 12 inches. I cut it in half. Each piece in there was six inches. So that's really one piece of wood. All right, I'm fixing to go. I have to get some water. This is, this is just, I got to put this out. All right, that's it. Everyone have a good day. Um, if you made it to the end, thank you and bye.